In this example, we'll be synthesizing the bond graph for a mechanical rotation system. Our first step is to identify the distinct angular velocities. In this system, we have here, let's see, we have one, two, three, four distinct angular velocities. So for each of those, we're going to establish a one junction. So there is a one junction here, 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 and here. At those one junctions, we need to determine if there are any associated elements. So for instance, if we uh, take a look at the first one junction, we have here the motor, which we are treating as an angular velocity source. We have a bearing, and we have one side of our gear pair. At the second one junction, we have a bearing and the other side of our gear pair. At the third, we have a bearing and one side of our bevel gear set. At the fourth, we have a bearing, the other side of our bevel gear set, and rotational inertia. Now the gears are two ports, and so um, at this point we're only going to identify those elements that are directly associated with the distinct angular velocities at the one junctions. So here, at the first one junction, we can place a flow source to represent the angular velocity from the motor, which supplies omega m. We can also place an R element to represent the bearing, which has a damping constant of beta 1. At the second one junction, we have another bearing. So I'll place an R element here and that bearing has a constant of beta 2. At the uh, third one junction we have yet another bearing so I'll place an R element and that will be damping constant of beta 3 and at the fourth we have a bearing and a rotational inertia. So I'll place here an I element and that I element has a rotational inertia of J. Now our next step is we're going to we're going to um, insert our one ports and two ports. Well if we uh, look at the system we have between these two distinct angular velocities our spur gear pair. Between these two we have a shaft between these two, we have our bevel gear pair. So we have the spur gear pair, which is a two port, the shaft, which is a one port, and the bevel gear pair, which is a two port. So we'll insert those. Here we'll have a transformer to represent our spur gear pair. And the transformer modulus is going to be the gear ratio N1 over N2. And then over here, we have off a zero junction, we have a C element to represent our shaft. And then here, between these two one junctions, we have another gear pair, but this is the bevel gear pair which has a gear ratio of N3 divided by N4. Now this system there are no distinct angular velocities that are zero. There are no junctions with only a singular with only two bonds, and so there are no further simplifications that can be made. So this is our finalized gear 
our finalized um, synthesized bond graph. If we take a close look, we have our four one junctions that represent our four distinct angular velocities. At the first, we have the uh, flow source representing the motor. Here, the motor is operated such that it specifies the angular velocity into the system. We have the first bearing. At the second one junction, we have the second bearing. At third one junction, we have third bearing. And at the fourth, we have a bearing and rotational inertia. Between the first two distinct angular velocities, we have the spur gear pair. Between the next two, we have the shaft. And between the last two, we have the bevel gear pair. So there's our finalized synthesized uh, bond graph in uh, simplest form.